Hi guys, Audio Guru here. Today I want to show you a quick and easy way to set up your auxiliary sends in Pro Tools. Uh, I'm using Pro Tools 10, uh, but this will work on any version of Pro Tools. So what we want to do, we've got um, a couple of auxiliary tracks already inserted here. The quickest way to get new auxiliary tracks is to create new tracks. So hit Control, Shift and N to bring up this menu and we'll create one more stereo auxiliary input and click create and there it is there so we'll do move that back over there so they're all together now if you go to setup io it'll bring up this page so we want to go to bus now what you'll see here is that i've already had these named originally they would have been labeled as bus uh, 1 to 2, uh, bus 3 to 4, but I've changed that already. And how you do that is double click on it and we'll say call this one compression and we'll rename this one a drums box. And there we go. So we'll hit OK. Now what we want to do is come up to the I.O. section of those auxiliary tracks and we want to go select the I.O. and we'll go to reverb on this one and for this one we will go to delay on this one we will go to compression and on this one we'll go to the drums mix so now we'll go ahead and insert some effects so this will be my reverb so we'll just add a reverb there, we'll use the D-verb. So for this one, this will be the delay. So we'll add a delay in there. Uh, air dynamic delay is fine for this. Uh, we have compression on this one, so we'll add a compressor. Uh, dynamics. Um, we'll I'll add the LA2A to the drums mix, I think. So for this one, uh, just do the C1. Okay, so on this one, we'll add the LA2A because that's one of my favorite ones for drums. So dynamics, um, LA2A, and there it is. So now that we have those organized, we'll actually just rename these. So we'll call this one Verb. click next to move on to the next track uh, this one was going to be a delay next uh, this one is compression next and this one was a drums mix Whoop. drums mix okay so now they're all renamed so now, when we're going to send one of these tracks to one of the auxiliary tracks, we'll just go to bus and send it to the reverb. And then we can control it by this fader here. So, and let's just say we want to send this audio track number two to uh, the compressor. We'll go to bus and we'll send it to the compression. And there it is. So that's a nice, quick, easy video to help you guys out with this part of things. Um, if you want any more videos, uh, please comment down below what you'd like to see. And um, I'll try and get onto them as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.